Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to our channel once again. If you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jackpot with your days. On this channel, we discuss relocation opportunities to Portugal, where we reside, and to other beautiful European countries where we believe that uh, you are going to have a beautiful and affordable relocation experience. Now, if you are in that category of international applicants that are looking for a fully funded opportunity that cater for your school fees, uh, living expenses, which is monthly stipend, and also provide you accommodation stipend to be able to ensure that, uh, uh, I mean, accommodation stipend in their dormitory, okay, have an exciting opportunity for you so you cannot afford not to watch this video to the end. Now, Transylvania Academic Scholarship is currently ongoing and it is about to end. So, which means if all your documents are ready, you should be uh, ready to apply for this scholarship. Now, this scholarship is in Romania. So, it, 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 the objective of, this, of the scholarship is to attract international applicants to Romania. So if you're interested in studying BSc program, MSc program, or PhD program, this scholarship is for you. And it covers all subject areas. So it is not only for management alone, or sciences alone, or social sciences, the uh, faculties alone. It covers all subject area for BSc, MSc, and PhD program. So today I will be showing to you the details about the scholarship, how to make your application, and the documents that are required to be able to submit your application. And like I said, the scholarship is about to end. So I will show you the details about this scholarship and the timeline for you to make your application. So like I said, if your documents are intact and ready, which I expect that if you are planning to you know, relocate or jump out this year, by now, the conversation of whether your document is ready or not should not be, uh, should not even be on the table. Your document should be ready. So, because opportunity come but once. So, you have to be prepared at every time for every opportunity that is announced, either on this channel or any other channel. Okay, so come with me. Let me quickly show you the details about this scholarship and how to submit your application for the Transylvania Academic Scholarship. So the name of the scholarship, like I said, is Transylvania Academic Scholarship, and it is hosted by University of Transylvania in Brussels. Okay? Now, the objective, like I said, is to attract international students to Transylvania, and it is particularly designed for international students that are not from that are a non-EU or non-EEA country. So the eligibility, the applying candidate have to fill the online application, which I will show to you shortly. And the duration of the uh, scholarship is awarded for full attendance of bachelor, master's, or doctoral degree studies to candidate accepted for studies at Transylvania University. So, or if you are interested in bachelor program, master program, or doctoral program, as long as you are accepted in, in Transylvania University, you are eligible for this application. Now, the scholarship cover your tuition fee, include registration and graduation fee. They cover free accommodation in the university dormitory and provide you a monthly allowance to cover living expenses up to 800 li and approximately 170 US dollar, including during holidays, okay? So the only thing you have to bother about is the application, uh, the visa application fee and your travel expenses from your country to Romania. And then, the application file, these are the uh, documents that are required, the curriculum vitae, okay, the motivation letter, and three letters of recommendation to support your outstanding academic or outstanding results. So that is the only thing you have to bother about. Now, the application process, okay, it has started since February, and it is going to end by the 26th of April, which is this month, 26th of April, this month. So which means you have these three days to be able to submit your application for this uh, uh, for this scholarship. Now, by 31st of May, which is next month, if you are um, if you have been given this scholarship, you will get an email from the school. So, which means announcing selected candidate via email, and according to them, only successful candidate will be emailed by 31st of May, which is next month. So, let me quickly show you the. Um, application procedure, of course, in here, you you know, your name, your application, your address, and every other thing, this is where you submit it, and then you choose degree you apply for, which degree are you applying for, this is where you choose, if you apply for bachelor, master, or PhD, this is where you choose it, then 
you can uh, move forward. Um, I've already tried to uh, fill the application just to uh, show you an idea of what it looks like. So, and then uh, there will be a session where you have to, have to, you know, your previous academic record, your previous academic degree, you will show them there, okay? So um, I'm just loading it so that I will be able to show to you what the application entails, okay? So maybe we should, uh, let's quickly look at this. For instance, if we put, uh, let's put a dummy name here. Let's put a dummy name and just select the date of birth in this place. So your country can, your, you have to choose, you have to, you know, change your country. It has to be, uh, let me choose Nigeria as an example. <clears throat> let me put something here and uh, just for us to be able to allow us to move forward so that we can, see some other information, okay? Uh, my billing address is the same as my correspondence. So I'm going to just uh, put something here and then my email, let me just put something here as well so that to allow us to move forward. So what am I applying for? Let's say I'm applying for PhD and um, what other thing do I need to my state? Let's say Lagos, okay? And uh, let's say Nest, okay? So, and uh, when you move to the next one, it will ask you to name of high school and every other thing. This is where you put date of completion of your high school, the country where you completed your high school, the certificate that, we, that was issued. Is it equivalent to uh, baccalaureate or equivalent? So, I mean, you have, to, you have to select yes anyway, so then you can, you know, click on next, okay? That is what it will show to you. So when you click on next, it will take you to where you have to add your last graduated, yeah, name and location of the last attended or graduation graduated education. So your last application. So if you're applying for a master program, you put your last, which is your BSc. If you apply for PhD, your last will be your MSc. So you put those in here, then you click on next, and then and then you click on next. So this is where it will now ask you to apply. You know, uh, describe in hundred words your uh, what are the outstanding issues that recommend you scholarship. So then your recommendation letter one, recommendation letter two, recommendation letter three, your curriculum vitae and your motivation letter. This is where you will add all the documents that is required. Then you choose the language of instruction here, which is English or Romania, and then you your you know your areas of um, study. So like I have already I have already chosen my own to be. PhD, so that is why it is showing me PhD in what area. So you select them here. So if your own is master, you select them accordingly. So then once you're done, you're done. You submit your application, you're good to go. So that is that about this scholarship that I wanted to share with you. So like I said, you have at least three days to be able to apply for this scholarship. For this scholarship. I just discovered it. So that's why I said, okay, if your document is ready, you can still make this application and enjoy this scholarship by 31st of May next month, all uh, successful candidates will be contacted. So if you're just seeing this channel for the first time, this is Jack Bar with your days. Like and subscribe to this channel so that by the time we bring opportunities and information like this, you will be the first person to get notification. Thank also follow us on all our social media. Okay. And uh, thank you very much once again for listening. It will come your way next time. Bye bye for now.